This is video number two of our tutorial for adding a new compiler to SlickEdit. In this demonstration, we'll create a new project to use the NQC compiler. To create our new project, we'll set Project New from the menu, and we will use the other C, C++ project template. We've already picked a directory, so we'll give our project a name. Okay. In the Compile and Link tab, we'll select our new NQC 3.1 compiler. And in the Configuration section, we are going to add configurations for the different architectures that the NQC compiler supports. So he'll we'll create one, we'll call this one Scout for the Scout architecture. Now that we've got a starter configuration, we can actually go ahead and remove the default uh, debug and release configurations. Okay. Back on the Tools tab, we have to now set up the compile command for NQC. I'm going to replace the stock one that comes with the template, and I'll explain the escape sequences here. I've got the full path to the NQC compiler. Uh, the dash T command is the target architecture, so here we're using the BN escape sequence, and that stands for our build configuration name. And of course we have specified our configurations based on the architecture names. Uh, for the output, the BD escape sequence specifies the uh, configuration name build directory that SlickEdit will create when you select a new configuration. And percent end is our shorthand syntax for the file name that you currently have open that does not have a pro that does not have a file extension, and we'll be replacing the extension with RCX, which is the uh, format that the um, NQC compiler generates, and the percent %f uh, in quotes, in case we have a file name with uh, spaces in the path, uh, the percent %f is the current file that we have open. So now that we've set up the compile command, we'll select OK, and now we need to add a new file to our project, what we're going to do here is we're going to customize the wildcards that this source files folder uses. You can see here it's pre-set up for all the common C and C++ extensions, but we're just going to be using star.nqc. And we'll add a new file. And we'll give this NQC extension. Now, since this is the first time that SlickEdit has seen the NQC extension, it's going to warn that you're creating a file that it doesn't really know how to treat. So we'll create this at first as plain text, and we'll associate it with C and C++ later on. Okay. I'm going to paste in some sample code that I copied earlier and save the file. Now, since NQC is a lot like C, we are going to use the uh, C and C++ syntax uh, to do our uh, color coding. So under the document menu, select mode command will allow us to pick C and C++. Since this is the first time we've specified something besides plain text for NQC, it gives us the option of mapping it to the C and C++ language mode. And so we'll go ahead and select that. And you can see now we've got nice color coding for that. Now that we've got our compile command all set up for one architecture, we can actually go back to the project properties dialog and using the configurations button, we can actually go ahead and create the rest of our configurations based on the available architectures that we want to build for. And we'll just add a few. Okay. From the build menu, we can select the uh, configuration for the architecture that we want. And we can go ahead and compile the file. You can see here the shell launched and ran our compile command. In our next tutorial video, we'll configure SlickEdit to be able to parse compiler output so that it will show us the location of any errors or warnings that the code might generate.